money is tight at the moment for everybody. We are seeing prices in the shops increasing. We're seeing petrol prices going up to crazy levels. We're seeing empty shelves and we're seeing lots of reports and news about people not being able to afford to pay for things that last year they could have afforded to pay for. We're seeing sorts of strikes in schools and in hospitals because people are upset about the level of funding. So you might be worried about this as well. You might be worried about school as well outside of really not having enough money at home. So what happens if your school goes broke? Schools are kind of like businesses. They bring money in and then they spend money and it goes out. And part of the, the head teacher's job, the governor's job, is to make sure that the money coming in is level with the money going out. That is part of that responsibility. But it's not working at the moment. The money going out is massively more than the money coming in. And schools get money coming in based on the number of students, based on any additional needs that the students have, they, um, they get a bit more money for any pupil premium students that they have. And schools can't really just bring in more students. There is a fixed number of students, there's a fixed number of classrooms, there's a fixed number of teachers. You can't really increase the amount of money schools are getting in. But the problem is the amount of money that is going out of schools is increasing massively because teachers got a pay rise over the summer. But the government didn't give many schools any more money to pay for this pay rise. And then the electricity prices are going up, gas and electricity prices are going up, massively, hugely going up. But schools don't have any more money to pay for this. And this website was launched recently by one of the teaching unions. And you can go and look up your school. I'll drop a link in the description down below. Um, where it basically shows the shortfall, how much money they, they have much more money they're spending than they're bringing in compared for 2023, 2024, compared to this year. So even if, not even like hugely different, it's just how much less money they're going to have next year compared to this year. Now, normally when a school goes broke, and this is not something that happens very often because lots of people will step in to try and help or things will change and generally they try and avoid schools going broke. But when they do, the schools kind of have to shut. And that's a very, very rare thing to happen doesn't happen very often but it does happen the problem is at the moment all schools nearly all schools are facing a massive shortfall in money no schools have enough money so what does that actually mean for you guys now i'm trying to help as much as i can i've taken a load of my stuff that was previously behind a paywall and put it in front of a pay behind in front of a paywall anyway i've made loads of stuff that i used to charge for free to help out to help out schools, to help out students, because if school doesn't have enough money, it does affect you, it does affect your education. When I was training to be a teacher, one of the schools I worked in couldn't afford paper. So we couldn't photocopy worksheets and hand out worksheets in class because there was no paper. And this is the sort of thing we're going to see happening more of. If something breaks in school, it's not going to get replaced. If a computer in the computer lab breaks, it's not going to get replaced. You might be going from two people sharing a computer to three people sharing a computer to four people sharing a computer. And it's going to be really hard for you to learn everything you need for your GCSE or A-level if there's four of you trying to share a computer doing ICT. The same goes in science lab. If you're trying to do a required practical and you used to have two people in a group, there used to be enough practical equipment to have maybe 15, 16 sets in the class. We're rapidly going to see a situation where equipment that breaks isn't going to get replaced and you won't have 15 or 16 sets in the class. You might have less than 10 sets. Or for chemistry, the schools might not be able to afford to buy the chemicals for the practical. We're already seeing this with some of the EU regulations that actually they can't import the chemicals that they need for the required practicals. So you're not doing the practicals that you used to. You're going to see some of the smaller subjects disappearing. If maybe your school offered three languages, if maybe your school offered three languages and the German teacher leaves, maybe that teacher won't get replaced and actually you'll only have the choice of French or Spanish. Or maybe you're already down to just one choice for languages and that isn't really a choice at all. The awful thing about the funding crisis in the moment is that means your education is going to get worse and you're going to have less choice in your education which is going to impact your future, impact the grades that you get, and it's going to restrict the choices, which is going to impact your future. There is, unfortunately, not a lot personally that you can do about it. You can write to your MP and you can complain, 
and the response you'll get from them is that we are giving schools more money and that is technically true but if we think of this right if i give you this example so i give you 10 pounds a week to pay for your bus pass but then the bus pass goes up to 15 pounds a week and i was like okay i will give you more money each week to pay for the increase in the bus pass so i then start giving you 12 pounds a week to pay for your bus pass and then when you come and complain that you can't afford your bus pass i'm kind of like what well, i gave you more money you must not be spending it correctly it is your fault that you cannot afford your bus pass even though you have done nothing wrong it's just the price has increased. I can quite legitimately say that I've given you more money because I'm now giving you two pounds a week more money. That's what the government are doing to schools. They're basically gaslighting them by telling them that there isn't a problem. You, I'm giving you more money. It must be your fault that you can't afford to pay for stuff. When the price of gas and electricity, the price of pay, paying people is going up massively and the government are not covering these costs. They're not increasing the amount of money that goes into schools in line with the amount of money they know schools are having to spend. And it's not just teaching. It's happening in the NHS as well. It's happening in loads of other sectors as well. And I can't see it getting any better anytime soon. I'm really sorry. I would love to have a happy ending to this video where I say, this is what you need to do. I'm trying to help as much as I can by giving you loads and loads of free stuff. I'm gonna make a whole separate video all about all the free stuff and where it is. But I'm afraid it's not great news and I can't see it getting any better in the future. What I can tell you is that I am gonna work as hard as I can to provide as much stuff for you to try and fill in those gaps if there are any so that your future isn't impacted by this as much as it potentially would be. Um, I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way, guys. Just let me know what you need. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.